Hello everyone. So guys, today we'll start and discuss about oxyhemoglobin association and dissociation curve because in last video, we discussed about transport of gas, how transport of oxygen occur and transport of carbon dioxide right now. So today we will discuss about the curve. So before the curve guys, we'll discuss about the hemoglobin right now because of the, uh, it play major role right now. So guys, uh, about hemoglobin, if we can say, so hemoglobin is what guys? Hemoglobin is consist of two part. One is known as a heme part, another is called the globin, right? Now, so heme part is iron containing part, and the globin is what gets protein, and that protein consists of what consists of the polypeptide chain of amino acid. For example, alpha polypeptide, beta polypeptide, gamma polypeptide, and delta polypeptide. So, alpha polypeptide consists of 141 amino acid. Beta polypeptide, gamma polypeptide, and delta polypeptide consist of what gets consist of the 146 146 amino acid right now and uh, we know about uh, hemoglobin is what guys that is a 12 to 16 gram of hemoglobin found in per 100 ml of blood right now now 12 to 14 gram approx found in case of what guys in case of the female right and 14 to 16 gram found in case of what in case of the male right now guys if we can say here, average hemoglobin is what? Can we say here 15 gram? Yes, 15 gram is what, guys? Average hemoglobin is there, right? Now, guys, one gram of hemoglobin, one gram of hemoglobin carry 1.34 ml of oxygen. What, guys? 1.34 ml of oxygen. So, guys, here we can apply what? Here we can apply one formula, right? Now, what? That is the average hemoglobin into what, guys? Into 1.3 ml of oxygen, right? Now, so average hemoglobin is what, guys? That is a 15 gram into what, guys? Into 1.3 ml of oxygen, right? So what we will get value, guys? Approx 20 ml of oxygen found in per 100 ml of blood. Is that clear? Now, our NCIT is what saying? Our NCIT is saying 5 ml of oxygen, 5 ml of oxygen delivered into where, guys? Into tissue. Is that clear, guys? And 4 ml of carbon dioxide outside. Clear or not, guys? Right? So, what I said, this is about of the hemoglobin, right? And the one hemoglobin molecule carry what, guys? Carry the 4 oxygen molecule right is that clear or not okay now what is the role of these guys right now just wait i will discuss in graph right now okay guys from here numerical type of question they will ask right now so listen carefully guys so what i said hemoglobin percentage is what guys that is a 12 to 16 gram 12 to 13.5 or 14 gram in case of female and 14 to 16 gram in case of what guys male so what we can say average hemoglobin is a 15 gram one gram of hemoglobin carry 1.34 ml of oxygen so average hemoglobin into what guys 1.3 ml of oxygen so here 20 ml of oxygen per 100 ml of blood we can get right now okay now let's be discuss the association and dissociation curve guys this is a uh, about of the graph so here we can say about what guys this is called the percentage saturation of hemoglobin right now percentage saturation of hemoglobin and here we can say about what this is a partial pressure of what guys partial pressure of oxygen partial pressure of oxygen right okay now guys everyone know about this graph right now everyone know about this curve this is known as a what guys this is called the sigmoid curve what we can say guys this is called the sigmoid curve right now sigmoid curve guys what is the percentage saturation of hemoglobin in your ncit only graph is given but here we will discuss about the uh, about the graph about the percentage saturation of hemoglobin right now guys this 100 percent is what guys here these here indicate about what guys they indicate about of the 100 percent saturation what they indicate guys 100 percent saturation right now now listen what i said guys 
about of the hemoglobin suppose that it have a it carry the four oxygen right now molecule clear now what i said guys 5 ml of oxygen 5 ml of oxygen delivered into what guys delivered into tissue delivered into what guys delivered into tissue so guys suppose that this is what guys this is a about of tissue right now for example this is a tissue clear na so out of 100% we can say what guys suppose that this is a 25% right now this is what guys this is a 25% right now this is also we can say what guys 25% and this is also we can say what guys 25% right now clear in the sense what guys this is what guys this is about of the 20 ml of blood sorry 20 ml of oxygen found in per 100 ml of blood so also we can say suppose this is a 5 ml and this is a 5 ml like that we can say for example right now for your better understanding i am saying right now 5 ml 5 ml as well as a 5 ml right now okay guys what i said i said about 5 ml of oxygen transported into tissue right now okay guys if 5 ml of oxygen transported into tissue so here 5 ml oxygen delivered into tissue right now okay so guys when 5 ml transport means 25% oxygen transport into tissue so remaining will be what guys remaining will be 75% what guys 70 Five percent. So here, percentage saturation of hemoglobin we can say, guys, here that is a seventy-five percent hemoglobin saturation. What, guys? Seventy-five percent hemoglobin saturation, right now. And if one, what, guys? If five ml oxygen transported, right now, out of what? Out of twenty ml, right now. So remaining will be what, guys? Remaining will be fifteen ml. So what we he can say, guys? This is a fifteen ml of oxygen, right now. 75% what guys hemoglobin saturation and here partial pressure of oxygen will be what guys that is a 40 partial pressure of oxygen will be what guys 40 is that clear or not okay again guys again 5 ml of oxygen delivered into tissue guys again 5 ml right now again 5 ml oxygen delivered then no 5 ml first 5 ml again in the sense 10 ml delivered so remaining will be what guys remaining will be 10 ml oxygen remaining will be 10 ml oxygen means 50% oxygen so here we can say guys 50% of hemoglobin saturation in the sense 10 ml oxygen right now so here saturation will be what guys partial pressure of oxygen will be what guys 30 what we can say partial pressure of oxygen will be 30 is that clear or not guys okay now again 5 ml of oxygen delivered into tissue delivered into tissue so remaining will be what guys only 25% 25% right now clear na 25% in the sense 5 ml what guys 5 ml so here partial pressure will be what guys that is a 20 partial pressure will be what guys 20 is that clear or not what i said your ncert is saying your ncert line 5 ml oxygen delivered into tissue right so one hemoglobin carry what guys four molecule of oxygen right now so what we can say out of 20 ml what i said 20 ml of oxygen found in 100 ml of blood right now so out of 20 ml can we say 5 ml 5 ml 5 ml right now so if 5 ml oxygen delivered so remaining will be what guys remaining will be 75% in the sense what guys that uh, like the three uh, three molecule of oxygen in the sense 15 ml so this is what guys here 15 ml and percentage saturation of hemoglobin is what 75% partial pressure in the sense what guys partial pressure of oxygen will be 40 right now guys again 5 ml delivered right now in the sense 5 before 5 again so 10 ml delivered so remaining will be 10 ml right now in the sense 50% saturation of hemoglobin and here what guys partial pressure of oxygen 30 then again with 5 ml delivered so remaining will be what guys only 5 ml in the sense 25% so partial pressure will be what guys partial pressure will be 20 is that clear or not guys so this is actually percentage saturation of hemoglobin percentage saturation of hemoglobin now listen guys if person will move to a higher altitude right now then what will be happen guys 100% sigmoid curve will be changed so let's be discuss guys that 
point also guys this is a your what guys sigmoid curve so when person move toward the higher altitude then what will be happen guys this sigmoid curve shifted toward what guys shifted toward the right side sigmoid curve shifted toward what guys shifted toward the right side so what we can say this is called the rh just wait guys again we will make curve right now just wait okay so what i said guys when person move higher altitude right now so this sigmoid curve shifted toward what guys shifted toward the right side shifted toward what guys shifted toward the right side in the sense rhs right hand shift curve so guys this right hand shift curve this right hand shift curve it indicate what guys it indicate about the oxyhemoglobin hbo2 dissociation what we can say hbo2 dissociation so right hand shift curve indicate hbo2 dissociation guys when curve shifted toward the right side then what will be happen guys here partial pressure of oxygen will be decrease partial pressure of oxygen decreases and here partial pressure of carbon dioxide increases right now p50 value will be increases right now guys h plus concentration increases right temperature will be increases but what guys but uh, ph will be lower ph will be what guys lower in the sense decreases is that clear so this is what guys this is a right hand shift curve and this right hand shift curve is known as a what guys it is called the bohr effect what we can say guys this is called the bohr effect so right hand shift curve indicate what guys it indicate the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve what guys oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve so when person move toward the higher altitude then what will be happen guys the curve shifted toward the right side right now and this right hand shift curve indicate what guys oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve in this curve oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve partial pressure of oxygen will be decreases partial pressure of carbon dioxide will increases p50 value increases h plus concentration increases temperature will be increases ph will be low h will be low right now and this is called what guys this is called the bohr effect right now again when normal condition occur then what will be happen guys these curve shifted toward what guys these curve shifted toward the left side what guys left side so what we can say guys this is called the left hand shift curve what we can say left hand shift curve right now One minute, guys. Okay, just right now. So what we can say, guys, this is called the left hand shift curve, LHS. So curve shifted toward the left side. So we can say this is a LHS right now. So this left hand shift curve, what they indicate, guys? This left hand shift curve indicate about what? It indicate about the HBO2 means oxyhemoglobin association curve. What guys? Oxyhemoglobin association curve. So in oxyhemoglobin association curve, here, here guys, partial pressure of partial pressure of oxygen will be what guys increases. Here, partial pressure of carbon dioxide will be what guys? decreases here what guys h plus ion will be what guys decreases here temperature will be what guys here temperature will be what guys decreases but here ph will be what guys ph will be high means ph will be what guys increases p50 value will be what guys p50 value going to decrease so just opposite to what guys rhs so these left hand shift curve indicate what guys it indicate about of the oxyhemoglobin association curve and this type of the effect is known as a what it is called the halden effect what we can say guys this is called the halden effect is that clear or not so when person move toward the higher altitude so curve shifted toward the right side this is called the right hand shift curve and this right hand shift curve indicate what guys it indicate the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve 
here what has happened guys here partial pressure of oxygen going to decrease partial pressure of carbon dioxide going to increase p50 value will be increases h plus concentration will increases temperature will be increases but ph will be what low right now guys if curve shifted towards the left side LHS right now, left hand shift curve. So this LHS indicate oxyhemoglobin association curve right now. So when association occur, then partial pressure of oxygen increases, but partial pressure of carbon dioxide, H plus concentration, temperature, pH, P50 value, this all will be what gas decreases right now. But here pH will be what gas? Here pH will be increases. Here pH will be what gas? Increases. Clear? So this is what this is about of the oxyhemoglobin association. So RHS so what guys? RHS so HbO2 dissociation curve. This is known as a Bohas effect. And LHS so what guys? It is so about the oxyhemoglobin association curve. And this type of the effect is known as a Halden effect. Is that clear guys? So have a nice day. We will meet in next video. Right now in next video we will discuss about of the respiratory disorder. Thank you so much guys.